Hey guys, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all MMA news. Here's a quick rundown of everything that was said after the fights at UFC 219 this weekend. Chris Cyborg defeated Holly Holm via unanimous decision and retained her featherweight title. Her record improved to 19-1. In her post-fight speech, she said she wanted to face Megan Anderson in Australia. She was originally scheduled to fight her at UFC 214. Megan quickly responded to the callout on Twitter and said, Great fight, ladies. Congrats, Chris, on retaining your belt. UFC, I think there's only one fight to make. But now, against a legit featherweight. If you're not privy to whom Megan Anderson is, here's a quick bio. She stands six feet tall and is currently Invicta FC's featherweight champion. She also boasts a record of 8-2 and two and is riding a four-fight win streak all by TKO finishes. She shares a YouTube channel with UFC's Laura Sanko and here's what she had to say right before the event. Yes, I was scheduled to fight Chris Cyborg at UFC 214. That's Australian for scheduled. <sighs> Sorry guys. Um, so despite what you all think, I did not duck Chris Cyborg. I signed the bout agreement and we were ready to fight and that's the fight I won. And five days later, like a very serious personal issue came up and they removed me from the card. Uh, I was devastated. You, you asked my coach James, he was there, I literally cried for like two days straight. I was devastated. You guys found out 11 to 15 days after that. So. You all found out like way after it actually happened and I feel like this is where like MMA fans or I guess haters can be the most brutal because despite what you all think, you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Like you can all, re I was, I was pregnant, I was on steroids, I was USADA, like everything like despite what you may think <laughs> yeah because if i was pregnant i would have like some stomach out here by now but so wait, but remember you had an abortion yeah, oh yeah but wait i had an abortion <laughs> yeah, guys like despite what you all think you have no idea what's going on i don't care who wins this fight because i want the winner like it's as simple as that like unfortunately i wasn't able i'm not able to fight for this fight uh because i'm not cleared to fight if you, all, if you all knew everything about me, you would know that. So, uh, hopefully in the next month or so, that should be cleared up and I'll be able to fight. I feel like I deserve the winner. I deserve this fight more than Holly Holm does. I'm sorry, like, she's fought once at featherweight and lost. I've fought my whole career at featherweight and have... I'm on a four-fight win streak with four finishes against actual featherweights. I'm bigger than just being the job. <laughs> That's the thing, like people don't realize I walk around the same, if not heavier. Chris said that she she started this fight camp at 170 pounds. I'm heavier than that. And like, and I'm a lot taller. taller. I'm a lot taller and have a longer reach. Like despite what you all think, I'm her biggest test. Everyone knows that. So I'm just waiting for this fight to get over. This is great for me because it gives me extra footage on whoever wins. Yeah. 2018. Look out, baby. This is a fight I'm personally looking forward to very much and hope it comes to fruition soon. Khabib Nurmagomedov defeated Edson Barbosa by unanimous decision in an absolutely lopsided match in favor of Khabib. His record is now improved to an unheard of 25-0 in MMA. Joe Rogan asked him who he'd like to fight next between Tony and Conor, and he said Tony because he has 10 wins at lightweight. He said Conor has money now and is probably going to come back once he spent it all. At the press conference, he said, if the UFC approves, I'll fight both Conor and Tony in the same match night. Why not? I swear this is no joke. Tony had a response and said, don't care if the UFC approves. I'll cut Connor, drop Khabib and move up to welterweight either before or after I'm done with this division and rid it of the trash at the top. Pollution has accumulated over the years. Time to clean house. Hashtag defend or vacate. Khabib considers Tony the real champion and said Connor has good boxing and timing, but says he's not the real champ because a lot of people can beat him. He doesn't have good wrestling, grappling and conditioning. As far as his lack of fighting frequency, he says it has less to do with weight cutting and more to do with injuries sustained during his training camps because of how rigorous it is. He said this was the healthiest he's ever been as far as all his
his joints are concerned and never felt better in the cage. We'll see what ultimately happens since John Kavanaugh informed the media a few months ago that Connor told him he'd like to be back in April. Connor has not said anything on social media yet regarding who he'd like to face next, even though we all know Tony is rightfully next in line with his interim title. Carla Esparza defeated Cynthia Calvillo via unanimous decision. Her record improved to 13 and 4. She's currently ranked number 9 and defeated Cynthia who is currently sitting at number 6. She believes that she should be discussed for a title shot now since she does have a victory over the current strawweight champion Rose Namajunas. She said whatever the UFC wants, I'm game. Rose has not made a comment as of yet. Anyway that concludes my summary for UFC 219 and I just wanted to take a moment and thank you all for your support on my channel as I'm still new to all this and hope to improve and grow. I had my goal of reaching a thousand subs before the year's end and got close enough so I'm still happy with my results. Thanks again and have a happy new year. Wish you all the best. Now usually I don't do this but bounce 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 but hey 2017 it was nice but you was mean I'm gonna go into 2018 and I'm gonna come look at me <laughs> <laughs>